Hey guys, uh, I'm gonna make a video on pressurizing a fuel tank uh, that goes in a wing on an airplane. And uh, a good friend of mine gave me this tank. Uh, his plane, his J3 Cub that he bought had two wing tanks in it. And he's only gonna use one and he's putting the uh, original 12 gallon tank back in the, uh, behind the dash in the front of the cockpit. So anyways, he gave me this tank and uh, so I cleaned it up a little bit and I'm gonna put it inside my left wing on my Cub. But uh, I'm pressurizing the tank and what, here's what I'm gonna, what I'm doing. Uh, here, here's the kind of things there that you would need uh, that I'm using. Uh, got some clamps and some little clear uh, uh, 7 16 hose. Uh, good old 1960 something uh, football pump and uh, use that on my RC cub, on my quarter scale cub and uh, the little nipple there on the end of the hose is uh, fits my tires. I've got real Dubro tires, uh, Goodyear Dubro tires that uh, you put air in them. So anyway, that's what I use that for. Uh, and uh, just a surgical glove, any kind, any color, whatever. Uh, and plugs, these are uh, quarter inch galvanized plugs uh they're pipe thread plugs which are the same threads as what's in the tank right here uh now what you want to do is put your original nipples uh back in uh these guys right here uh goes in the tank that way and then i'll show you the next step on uh what we're doing from there here's the next step uh what i gotta do is uh is you want to take Teflon tape and put Teflon on your fittings so that way there it gets a good uh, airtight seal around the threads and uh, you just want to take that and thread all your fittings here back into back into tank good all right now next step what you want to do is take you a glove, surgical glove, put it on the put it on the uh, tank here. Take your rubber band and wrap it around as many times as you can get it around it which is normally about two to three rounds. Now, got that. Now, pull your glove area right up, make sure it's all good. Now, the next step is uh, take a heat gun. Some of them here, it does fit pretty good. My captain right there does, good. But a couple of them here, uh, just want to heat this hose here up a little bit so it'll go over these other nipples there real good. Get a good tight fit there on it. That's about good enough. And then you just want to slide it over your fitting here. Excuse me. Get it on there. So now, the best thing to do is to heat your, heat this hose here up a little bit and uh, heat it up pretty good to where it'll bend real easy here with you. And uh, like that. And 
and take it and just fold it over and uh, take your hose clamp just like so. We're just gonna wrap this hose clamp around her and tighten the snot out of it. Get it good and tight, just like that. All right, then we're gonna do the other one the same way here. Gonna heat this hose up. Yeah. What we wanna do, is I'm gonna lay it over this way, just so my uh, drain on the bottom there, ain't sitting there on the table or nothing. Now what you want to do now is take your glove and just take one of your fingers on the glove there. Uh, see what we'll do the middle finger. Just cut you a little tiny, tiny slit there in it. Now if you got a bicycle pump or a football pump uh, with a needle there on it, that'll work real, real good there as well. Uh, but what you want to do is put your pump in here and get it, uh, get it in there good. And, uh, and just start pumping and you'll see the glove start airing up. You don't want to overdo it, put too much. Get the, get the glove there, you know, blow it up pretty good. And that way there, what this is doing here, the glove is taking, taking the place of the, putting the pressure on the, uh, on the welds and stuff there in the tank. Uh, but once you get it, you know, get the glove there blowed up pretty good like it, uh, then you'll just take and tie that one finger right here off and uh, just tie your knot there in it like a balloon and let it sit for 24 hours. Then uh, we'll come back and just tie it off like that. And then we'll let it sit. And uh, what you can do also is uh, take some soapy water in a spray bottle, uh, a lot of soap, I'd say probably, you know, fill up a water bottle, you know, about yay far, you know, about an inch or so with soap and then fill the rest of it up with water so it's a lot of soap. And uh, just go over and spray all your fittings, which I need to do now, and uh, check them, you know, make sure there ain't no little air bubbles or nothing coming out around your fittings or anything. And uh, then let it sit for 24 hours and then come back to it and check it and if the glove is still tight and you know in pretty much the same shape then uh you know you're good no leaks so anyways thought i'd share that with you and uh see you on the next video thanks for watching all right back after 24 hours and uh, as you can see, the glove is still blowed up good. Uh, and what you want to do is you want to make sure that your air temperature in the room is, you know, roughly within five degrees or so. You know, kind of stays around the same temperature because if you if you blow the if you air the tank up and just say the room is, you know, seventy five degrees, and you blow it up, you let it sit overnight and it cools down in the 50s at night time, then what's gonna happen is that glove is gonna deflate because the air is getting colder. So that's gonna throw you off and make you think you got a leak in your tank. Uh, so just try to keep the temperature around about the same temperature in the shop or, you know, a good thing is, I mean, bring it in your house, you know, do it in your house or whatever. And if your wife or don't mind you doing it on the dining room table, uh, you know, bring it in the house and, you know, pressurize it that way and uh you know so you're you're not hot out in the shop and in the cold you know during the night or whatever and it's going to make you think you got an air leak so uh anyways that's that and uh hope you got something there out of the video and we'll see you soon
Take care and God bless. Thanks for watching. Be sure to like and subscribe for more videos on the Cub Project here.